you the best possible view of this lion drinking which will be right there how's that look at the reflection on that isn't that beautiful I might just sneak a quick little sneaky illegal photo just because of the reflection so I do apologize for the little click sound but it was nice just to see but look at that I'm sure he's a thirsty boy from walking as far as he has he's gone a long long way to get to where he is now so I would imagine that he is a very 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 thirsty chap indeed but how cool is that Very nice. Like I say, I would imagine that he's going to spend a lot of time drinking like that. It's been a long walk and so he'll be lapping up lots of water. And now, cats drinking is a fascinating thing. They don't actually lap water up and make a bucket or anything like that to bring water into the mouth. What you'll see is, look how his tongue goes down and it almost kisses the surface of the water. And so with those fine hairs that are on the tongue that are rough, it causes that to grab the surface tension of the water and actually pulls it and then the mouth mouth closes as the tongue is coming up and so that's how they drink water they're not actually licking water up in the sense that we would think where they kind of get the tongue into the water and then scoop it it's actually all to do with surface tension and as the water is being pulled with those rough hairs so the mouth closes and little droplets of water are being absorbed and that's why they will drink for long periods of time you can see there's some people that are watching from above I definitely think we've managed to secure ourselves the best spot though because we're right at eye level with this particular male which is fantastic for us and it makes certainly a much easier position than I think where some of the other guys are at this stage they have a little Sammy Jane, you're wondering if lions get grumpy. Well, lions will sometimes get on the grumpier side of life. Um, if there's something that's irritating them, then they can get quite grumpy, and it normally is to do with females and food items. So with each other and with females that are in the area, you will find that they sometimes get a little bit on the grumpy side with one another. So it does happen, and when lions get grumpy, you'll find that the earth almost shakes with their grumpiness because they will go after each other, there will be loud growls and roars, there will be claws out and teeth bared and if it really gets very grumpy then they'll even go after one another so the Birmingham boys will fight amongst each other and that's why Tinio has got all of those scars all over his face is from fighting with each other over females and over carcasses and food and you'll find that they do then go at each other and the grumpy lion is never a pleasant line to be around. But isn't that the most serene scene? You can actually hear his lapping of water from where we are all across the dam here. Very cool. Now I wonder if after this he's going to settle down. Justin, you say if Tinio keeps drinking the way he's going, he's going to be end up becoming an aquatic lion. Well, I would imagine so. He's really spending a long time. This is a long drink for a lion, even by anyone's standards. So it's amazing to actually see how long he does drink for. It's, it's because he's walked so far today. He's really had gone a long, 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 long way to get to where we are now. And we know that he's been back and forth and moving around quite a bit. So... That's why he's drinking as much as he is. He's, he's tired and he needs to rehydrate. It's a warm morning now that that early morning chill has gone off. The sun has come out and the sun is hot. And so um, that's why he's trying to rehydrate as much as he is now. But I don't think it can last much longer. I'm sure he must be at a situation where he's getting saturated with water. Or not. 
seems as though he's still going. Also, when they drink like this, it's not as much water as we think is going into their mouths. As I was saying just now, it's just all to do with surface tension, so it's actually not really as much as we actually think it is. Isn't that beautiful when he looks at us like that? Adele, you're wondering how long a boy like Tinio would go without water. Well, it's like most animals out here in, in the world, and like us as people. Uh, mammals, unfortunately, their cells are mostly comprised of water, which means that they need water pretty much daily. So lions, you'll find, will drink daily, um, but you'll probably find he can go about t three days before he'll be really in a serious problem. But generally, they are drinking daily, much like us as people. They do require some water intake, and as most mammals do. It just the thing is with some of the mammals, things like Steenbok, they are so small that they're able to get their water intake that required to survive off dew of the grass in the early mornings. Whereas the bigger you are, the more water you require. And we know that buffalo are heavily water dependent. Elephants, um, hippos, rhinos, all of these animals rely on water as they because they're so large. And so the lions will require water every day but they probably could survive to about three days and then they're going to be in really bad shape from there but you are one thirsty girl Tad you're wondering how big his paws are in comparison to my hand well Tad what we'll do is if he if uh, we leave off, well, we're going to leave now after his drinking session and allow some of the other guys to get in here. So once we've done that, I'll go back along where he's walked and I'll try to find a footprint for you and I'll put my hand next to it to show you. But to give you an idea, it's about the same size as my hand on Tinio. Tinio's actually got quite big feet compared to some of the other Birmingham's. So he's not the one of the smaller ones. I think it's, I don't know who the smallest feet are, but there is one that's got quite small feet in comparison to the others. So his are quite large, but I'd say about the size of my hand and we'll measure them and you'll be able to see just now just how big they are. But that is a beautiful, beautiful sight. The only problem is all his drinking is causing ripples that has ruined his reflection. When he first came down, that reflection was magnificent. <laughs> Bless you, Senzo. You moving him full more, heard you. Maybe that's going to be the end of his drinking. There we go. I think that's him finished. Or not? No. No, we're still thirsty. Wow. He's a very thirsty boy today. Ladybug, you say he won't be able to walk afterwards. Well, no, I don't think so. Between that full belly of buffalo that he's still got and the amount of water he's taken on, I would imagine that the first shade we see, he's going to flop down and sit there. And, and while he gets on his way towards the shade, he's probably going to have a big waddle going on as he tries to balance all this water that's in his stomach. But he's definitely drank a lot, a lot more than I would have thought he was going to drink, that's for sure. So peaceful down here. What a special morning we've had. It was difficult to find him up front, but it's definitely worked in our favor. Vegas beauty snob, you're wondering how often the male lions all meet up together. Well, difficult to say because we don't see the Birminghams as much as we used to, but we know that they do join one another quite regularly. The other night at the buffalo carcass, Tinio was with Nsuku there, and there was a third one roaring close by. So they do meet up quite regularly. I would say, I mean, at least every two, three days, they're bumping into one another. Remember that they are roaring, so even if they don't meet up, they know where each other is, and they certainly know where to look for one another. So it's an interesting 
sort of thing that they don't have to actually stress too much about finding each other to know where one another is and to know everything's okay. Now, where are you going to go, Mr. Tinio? He should come out through that gap over there. There he comes. He's going to come straight towards us, which is fantastic. Oh, look at this. Are you going to come lie in the shade of the dam here? Seems as though he's going to come straight towards where we are and come and lie right next to us. I wouldn't be surprised if he decides this is where he wants to rest. It's nice and shady and cool here. Hello, boy. There he goes. Just walking behind us now. I don't know, it seems as though he's still walking quite quickly, so I don't think he's going to stop just here. Is he going up there, Senzo? Yeah, he is going up. So he's getting up now towards the other side. So let's try see if we can see him. But like I said, there are others that want to come, so I think what we're going to do is probably leave him once we get on top of this ridge, just to allow the other guys to get round. And then from there, we can head out and try and see if I can find his footprint so that I can show all of you what it looks like. Let's see. Come on, Wendy. Wendy doesn't want to go up the hill today. Her diff lock is not working as well as it should be by the looks of it things. And that's why you're going to see a nice little dust cloud coming past me as we try to negotiate up that hill. Oh, where's Tinio gone? Oh, there he is. I wonder where he's off to now. I would have thought after all of that he was going to find a shady spot and that little drainage line that we were in is the perfect spot for a male lion if he wants to try and find some shade and to rest and to sleep and to take it easy for the rest of the day. It's definitely gotten quite warm over the last sort of 20 minutes. Is he still walking? Yes, he's still walking. Right, now from one animal drinking to Tara, who's with, well, something the lions would eat, who's also drinking. <laughs> 